Well, right now, five teenagers are fighting for their lives after the car they were in slammed into a tree. It happened around 3 this morning on a rural road in northwest suburban Hampshire. That's in Kane County off I-90. CBS 2's Sarah Maki is there live. Sarah, does this appear to be a horrible accident? Well, still some questions about what exactly happened out here, but the speed limit on this stretch of road is 40 miles per hour, and investigators do believe that those teens were speeding. On this stretch of road that quickly turns into a series of hills just out of view, it is so hilly, in fact, here that there are at least two signs on the side of the road that warn people hills block view for one and a half miles. In their media release, investigators identified four of the teens as girls and said they were heading East in a 2019 Honda HRV when they hit a tree on the side of the road. You can still see some fresh damage to the tree there. A trail of broken auto parts all scattered alongside of the pavement. There's a light, various pieces of the grill and the car body. Now the teens all between the ages of 15 and 16 were taken to various hospitals. Some of them even airlifted to Chicago. The Kane County Sheriff's Police, they are investigating along with the county's drone team. They say it's unclear right now if drugs or alcohol might have played a factor. But while we were also out here getting video for our broadcast tonight, several people stopped their cars coming up to us, asking us for any updates that we might have had. It's clear that this is something that has gotten a lot of attention and a lot of concern in this community. One of those men, in fact, who we talked to said that this road is so dangerous and known for being dangerous that he takes it slow on his motorcycle. It's also a stretch of road that's sometimes known for what's called hill hilltopping when people speed up so that they can catch some air off the top of one of these hills. This road does have several memorials alongside of it for people who were victims in previous crashes. Reporting tonight, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. All right, Sarah, thank you. Hoping they pull through.